Hi everyone! Welcome to your newest addition to this channel. It is Good Morning Tea, where Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I would read everybody and inspire you with some oracle cards. So how about, let's make your tea now. Good morning everybody! Welcome to Good Morning Tea. I already got my tea and for today I'll be reading your oracle card at the same time journaling. I know it's not a scrapbook but I always want to call it a scrapbook but join me this morning. Let's go! so for you you have here degrees of love and degrees of love is you know you see those different shoes um, it's like what kind of comfort um, are you getting from this uh, relationship can be or it can even be your job you know it's like are you working um, you know uh, in an environment where it suits you or it can be like a high paying job however it's kind of difficult like you know just like the stilettos and you have to keep up with it um, in relationship, we also get into um, you know this connection um, sometimes out of convenience. Uh, you could be you know that nice sneakers, but you feel like there's no spiciness in it. So um, for today, it's all about understanding what kind of love or commitment are you in, and as soon as you define that, then you're more than free to wear that shoes. All right, Aries. Taurus, don't obsess with love release love you have here the nation be an example of love and charity when we are trying to manifest love for ourselves and even for to other people it's actually what you give out every time that you give out love instead of trying to hold it within that's when you will receive it back of course try to manage this when you're giving out love you know it doesn't mean that you just have to go all the way and just keep giving it it's a matter of releasing it and this releasing can you know in a way even show it to charity show it to other people show it to you know to the children show it to the community and not just to the person that you are in contact with romantically so don't obsess with love release love Gemini, a kite flies as far as high as much as you let go. You have different ideas, thoughts, goals, and you know infinite possibilities. You're writing something, you're creating something, but I feel that you have to let go all these creative juices and experience life also. Remember, we can all live in the books, but life is happening outside it. So start to let go those ideas and chances are that light bulb moment that creative spark is gonna come towards you you'll even have more brighter ideas so let go All right Gemini okay so concern no this is very interesting for you um, falling in love is not a choice and uh, staying in love is a choice this um, this whole thing about commitment that you're facing right now it can be one of those um, you know crossroads that you are in where should you stay or should you go it's all about understanding what is the purpose of the connection right now is it serving you because clearly you know it's like you met the person you love them you have that well, wonderful connection but to stay in it how much committed are you and that's the question so remember, falling in love is, uh, is not a choice, but you know, staying with a person, that's gonna be your call.
Leos, let the soulmate grow, grow without you. You have here, you know, normally this is my East Coast, West Coast card when I created this deck. So you could be in a long distance relationship. But clearly right now, it's just tough to get in touch with each other. Um, maybe this is the time, you know, the space for you guys that you need. Um, it doesn't mean that you guys are not together and you guys will not be back together. But it's more of like this space between the two of you is needed for your soul evolution to manifest. So let the soulmate grow. And just for this time, grow without, you know, being with each other. Right, Leos? Virgo, the soul within is a universe within. This picture shows you taking some time out. This shows, you know, just listening um, to uh, peaceful music. Maybe it may be like those frequency um, that can help you ground yourself and then become more centered during your sleep. It might be even just a beauty rest that you're listening into. Maybe you just need some peace and quiet so that you can see that the universe exists within you. All right, so that's for you, Virgos. Okay, Libra. We all know how you love that hair of yours. <laughs> so you have halfway is convenience and all the way is commitment. We all want that big change in our life. And I feel like you are about to embark on one. Having this kind of change, normally you cannot just test out the waters anymore. I feel like you already know how warm it is, you already know how deep it is gonna go, but it's time for you to take the plunge. It's very focused right now on the willingness, I feel, to change. So commitment is the key here, the key word. Halfway is convenience, all the way is commitment, Libra. Scorpios, don't let emotions handle you handle your emotions it's easy for us when we are upset to make any kind of decision and it's even more worse if you're driving so try not to go and drive when you are feeling that you know um maybe erratic feelings right now or just uncontrollable emotions maybe walk it off maybe it's time for you just to step out of that office step out of that building and just release and so that afterwards you will be able to manage your emotions so scorpios don't let your emotions handle you remember that sag there is order and chaos. One of my favorite cards. Well, I say that to all my cards. <laughs> so there's order and chaos. You know how you have a duffel bag or, you know, for the ladies, you have a bag right there um, and you need something in it. You don't even have to look inside it, right? Your intuition is guiding you. No matter how chaotic it is, trust within so that you will see that there is order and chaos. Use your intuition. And if there is a time right now that you are doubting yourself, that's even the best time for you to just go for it. Grab, go, and get in that bag, and you'll get it. All right? So that's for you, Sedge. Capricorn, what did you get here? Vulnerability takes courage. Now, Vulnerability takes courage. You see this picture right here? It's, you know, it's, of course, makeup is an artwork, you know, but we all have this face, this facade um, that we, you know, that we kind of put out there. And actually, this is your house. It's the 10th house. You know, it's like society. Um, who are you right now to the society? Whatever behind that mask, you know, it's wonderful. It's gorgeous. But it's also asking for you to open up. You have to face the truth that there can be, you know, an opportunity for you to be in love only if you accept, you know, yourself to be vulnerable in this uh, situation right now. All right, Capricorn? So you got vulnerability takes courage. Aquarius, you have retreat and recover. When I got this, I got R&R. &R. It's Range Rover. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> retreat and recover is when you need to just step back. You probably have some big assignment, big project, or a big endeavor in front of you. If you go right now headstrong, you will just crumble. Gather your strength, remove those nine inch stilettos, and take a breather. 
So go, relax, retreat, and recover, Aqua. Pisces, it's not a breakup, it's a breakthrough. You see in this picture, it says square one, chapter one. I feel like you're gonna start your whole new life again. It's not bad. Every time you grab a new book, it's a new experience. It's a new learning. It's a new adventure. Every time we close a chapter, a new one begins. But it's all about taking time out also. Because remember, it's not a breakup. It's a breakthrough. And there you go, everybody. Hopefully, this uh, sets the tone of your morning. I'll catch you again next time. And good morning, T. Bye.